Hey everyone, this is Kyle Hamrick from School of Motion, and welcome to another video in the Learn from the Pro series on Adobe After Effects. Wrapping up my series on timeline features, in this video we'll be exploring some of the structural complexity that you can create here in After Effects. We actually have the ability to link layers together, making one follow another as it animates, and there's even a special kind of layer specifically for this purpose. Let's learn about parenting and null objects. You might want two or more layers to move in the same way at the same time. You could keyframe both of them individually, but that can get pretty tedious and result in a lot of unnecessary keyframes. Or you may have individual pieces that need to move together as part of a larger element, like a character. The perfect tool for these situations is parenting. Parenting allows you to connect layers together so that one layer will always follow the other. Here I have two squares just created from solid layers. The yellow one will be the parent, the leader, that I'll attach the other layer to. The blue one will be the child, the follower, that will be attached to the other layer. Right now, they're not connected in any way, so any adjustments I make to their transform properties are totally independent. I'll just undo. In case your parenting column isn't currently open, you can find it by right-clicking anywhere in this bar, Columns, Parent and Link. To attach the blue layer, the child, to the yellow layer, the parent, we can do that by using this drop-down menu right here and choosing the layer you want to be its parent. Or you can use this little curly icon called a pick whip. Simply click and drag to the layer you want to become this layer's parent. Now when I move the yellow layer, the blue one comes along for the ride. This also applies to scale and rotation, so now all the transform properties of this blue square are relative to the transform values of its parent layer. Its scale is still set to 100, and its rotation is still set to 0, but you can see it's clearly a different size than it was before, and it's no longer on a straight angle. Here's another example where both of my shapes already have existing keyframes, but aren't yet parented together. If I parent the blue square to the yellow one at the first frame of the composition, you can see it's now orbiting around its parent and continuing to move in the way it was already animated, but relative to the movements it's now inheriting from this parent layer. I should point out that when you parent also matters because it's inheriting these new relative transform values at the frame when you create that parenting relationship. If I had instead gone to the middle frame of the composition where the parent's scale is much smaller and then parented the child to it, you can see we get very different results. Also, just to make sure you understand the difference, I wanted to point out that most properties in the timeline will also have a pick whip, which you can use to link them to other properties on this layer or other layers using a type of code called expressions. This is a more advanced feature, and these property links are different from parenting, so just make sure you're paying attention to which pick whip you're grabbing. Sometimes you may specifically want to move a child to its parent's position. If that's the case, simply hold the shift key while connecting the pick whip or using the drop down menu, and the child layer will jump to the parent layer's position. All of this is really open to be as simple or as complex as you want. You can parent multiple layers to a single layer, or you can create a progressive chain of parented layers where each layer's transform properties are relative to its parent, and its parent's properties are relative to its parent, and so on. As you may have guessed, parenting is the basis of rigging and animating many characters here in After Effects. You can see I have this character separated out into all the major body parts, almost like a paper doll. This is also a good time to point out the importance of naming and color coding your layers, which I explained in an earlier video. I've already made sure each piece has the anchor point in the right spot, where the joint would naturally be, so now I can start making my connections. I'll connect the foot to the calf, the calf to the thigh, and the thigh to the torso. Now if I change the rotation value on the thigh, you can see the other leg pieces come along for the ride, and I'm ready to start adding keyframes to these. By parenting all the facial elements to the head, and the head to the neck, and the neck to the torso, hopefully you can see how with some time and effort, I've got all the makings of a fully animated character here. After Effects even has a special kind of layer that exists mostly just for these kinds of parenting setups. 
You can see here I already have some position keyframes on these two text layers. And if I wanted to adjust their size and screen position, it would be a lot of work to make sure they stay lined up the way I want them to be. I can't really parent either of them to the other though, because the position movements they both already have mean that connecting them would really mess up the work that I've done. I'll choose Layer, New, Null Object. A null object is visible in your viewer panel, but is not visible when exporting, so it's perfect if you need a way to adjust or animate several layers all at once, especially if they already have their own animation. I can parent both of these layers to my new null, and let's go ahead and give this a meaningful name, like Text Mover. Now I can change the position and scale of this null, even rotate it, even animate it, and those two text layers continue behaving the way I want relative to the transforms I just applied to the null. I've given myself an extra way to adjust and control everything without messing up the existing keyframes and in a way that hasn't added any new visible elements to my composition. Parenting opens up a way to create more complex animations without needing to add nearly as many keyframes and is an essential part of leveling up your After Effects skills. Be sure to check out all the other videos in this Learn From The Pro series on Adobe After Effects. For Adobe Creative Cloud, I'm Kyle Hamrick from School of Motion. Thanks so much for watching.